guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we are again in our series of Microtech BPPoE. In our previous video, I already demonstrated how to set up BPPoE server, client, and bandwidth limit to users. In this video, I will show you now how to configure burst limit on our BPPoE setup. What is burst limit? The concept of burst limit is that it is an amount of bandwidth that is higher than the subscribed internet plan of your client that will be given if the client is not a heavy user of internet. In our previous video, what we did is this setup. So as what you can see, I have here a topology. We have hex of, uh, as our microtech device, then one internet, then port 3, then connected to the switch. And th for this video, I will uh, demonstrate we have two Wi-Fi routers here. So for, the, for this first router, we will uh, put PPPoE profile 5 Mbps. Then for this Wi-Fi router, we will put 10 Mbps 5 Mb profile. So, so we will now do the configuration. So the format for burst limit is this. So max limit space burst limit space burst threshold space burst time space priority space limit at so in our previous video for profile number one five mb what we did is put directly this one in the read limit we put directly five m over five m but for the format of burst uh, we will put this kind of format, 5M, this one. We will copy this one and paste it here. So, I will explain one by one what is, what is this, what is the meaning of this uh, format. So, in this field, as what, as what I mentioned, this is max limit. Max limit is the speed that will be allocated to our client given that the bandwidth that is allocated to the parent queue is not congested. In our case, it's 5 Mbps. So max limit is also referred to as MIR, maximal information rate. So then this one is the burst limit. It is the speed that will be given to our client if the average usage is less than the burst threshold that we set. So if the average usage of the client is less than the burst threshold, which is what we said is 6M, then this burst limit will take effect. All right, so burst threshold is the reference bandwidth that will trigger if the client can use the burst speed or not. So this is the reference speed. So if the average usage of the client is less than 6M, then this burst threshold 10 Mbps will trigger. Burst time, this one, 30 seconds, I've said 30 seconds, is the amount of time that the magnetic device to calculate the average rate. This is not... Uh, the time that the burst speed will effect, this is not the duration of the burst speed. Take note, guys. This is the amount of time that the microtech device calculate the average rate. So, next is this one, priority. Priority is needed for distributing the excess bandwidth from the parent queue. In our current setup, this will not be used because all our clients have the same priority set in our PPPA profiles. Then this one, lastly, limit at. Uh, we set 1 Mbps for 5 Mbps subscription plan. Uh, 
Limit at is the speed that will be allocated to our client in case that the bandwidth that is allocated to the parent queue is already congested. This is for the worst case scenario. Limit at is also referred to as Committed Information Rate, acronym is CIR. So, the parent queue that we set last time is only 50M. 50M. So, if if the overall bandwidth usage of our clients reach 50M, the limit at will now trigger. So, the clients will now be given 1M instead of 5M. So, hopefully you understood what I'm saying. So, we will now apply this first format. So, for 5 Mbps profile, we will copy this one, then put it in our rate limit. PPP, then rate limit. Limits, the rate limit, you will just paste it here. And apply. Okay. For the 10 Mbps, we will copy also this one. Copy. Paste. If you haven't watched the previous video, I, I, I advise you to watch it first before you continue this, this tutorial. Because this tutorial is video number two. So, please watch the video number one first before you proceed to this one so that you can relate to what I'm saying. Alright, so we are now done configuring the burst speed. So, we will now test. And apply this, this, uh, for the secret, for the, we will apply this user one for 5 Mbps profile for this Wi-Fi router, this one. So, this setup, I, I, I actually do it physically, so, so that you can, I can show you guys the actual implementation of this. So, my hex has one internet, then port is connected to network switch. Then for the network switch, I have here uh, two routers, 5 Mbps, 5 Mbps, uh, uh, Wi-Fi number one, 5 Mbps, and Wi-Fi number two, 10 Mbps. So we will, we will now test. So we will configure our router. So I will unplug my device first. Then connect it directly to my router. So, we will now access our router. For this demonstration, I use the link router to access it. Input here the default gateway. Right, the default password, username and password of the DP link is admin. Admin. Right, so we will now set set up the one. So go to the network and one. Then change this one to PPPOE. And we will input here the credential for for five Mbps subscription plan. Username is user one. And the password is user one. You can see it here in our Ah, oh, you can access the, the Microtech. This is the user that we set in our Microtech device. Then, just click Save. Okay. Oh, okay. User 1, then User 1. Save. Alright, it, it connected successfully to our microtech device. We will now configure our wireless so that we can test. So I just named this one 5 Mbps Wi-Fi. Click save.
for the security we'll just put one two three four five six seven eight nine zero password We'll configure our LAN IP address of this one, the CP. We'll put DNS of Google. Google public DNS. Save. Alright, we are we are basically done with our with this router for our 5 Mbps service plan, subscription plan. So we we will log out this one and connect our laptop directly to our Wi-Fi router number two. I'll unplug this one. Then put it here in the Wi-Fi number two. Let's check if we if our laptop has already an IP. Right, so we will access our Wi-Fi number two. Network, then one, then PPPOE. So for 10 Mbps, user, the user credentials is user number two, and the password is user two. This is what we set in our Microtech device. Let's check if it dial successfully. We'll check in status. All right, so it dial successfully. We will now configure our wireless Wi Fi. We will name this one. 10 Mbps Wi-Fi. And we will put password, simple password only. Save. And for the DXCP. Right, so we are now done. We will now go to our microtech de device so that I can show you that these two Wi-Fi wi routers is now uh, connected to our microtech. So I'll unplug the cable, then connect my laptop directly, my laptop to the microtech. Right, so we're now connected again to our microtech device. So as what you can see, we have now two PPPoE users. So this PPPoE user number one is our Wi-Fi number one, which is 5 Mbps subscription plan. And then PPPoE user two for our 10 Mbps user plan. Right, so we will now, I will now do, I will connect my phone to Wi-Fi number one and I will do speed test. So before we will only get 5 Mbps, but now when we do speed test, we will expect that it will detect uh, higher bandwidth, so we will it will take the burst limit, which is 10 Mbps. So I'll connect my phone, and I will we will click the traffic tab so that you can see that the upload and download will will be higher than the 5 Mbps. So I'll access 5 Mbps Wi-Fi. Input I input here the password. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Right, I'm now connected to my 
I give you SY5, so I'll do the speed test. I'll do this, I'll do now the speed test. Alright, so as what you can see, I'm getting 10 Mbps for the Wi-Fi router number 1. Instead of 5 Mbps, I'm getting 10 Mbps instead. Because the burst limit kicks in. Alright, as you can see, it kicks in. Then, I will now access Wi-Fi number 2. Wi-Fi number 2. Alright, I'll access. I'll connect my phone to the Wi-Fi number 2. Alright, so I'll now do the speed test. So instead of 10 Mbps, I'll, I'll be getting 20 Mbps instead. Alright, so, oh, I forgot to click. So as what you can see, I'm getting download 20 Mbps. And for the upload, I'm getting also 20 Mbps. So our burst limit kicks in. Right. So our configuration, our configuration works just fine. So special notes, take note that uh, in this demonstration, our demonstration, I decided that the burst limit would be times two of my max limit. It's up to you if what you will set in your own setup. In burst threshold, take note that it must be below your burst limit and above your max limit. Your limit at value also must be below your max limit. So this is it on how to configure burst limit on our PPPOE setup. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notifi notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.